Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla's US market share is being challenged by more affordable options. Tesla's North American charging standard proposal gets stern char in response. Tesla wall connector chargers now available on Best Buy. And Tesla posts more Cybertruck production jobs. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla's market share in the United States is still strong, but it is being challenged by less expensive options, as consumers are opting for affordable electric vehicles. A new study from S&P Global Mobility shows Tesla still holds a considerable amount, 65%, to be exact, of the U.S. electric vehicle market. However, this figure is down from 79% two years ago, and pricing is the biggest reason. Much of Tesla's share loss is to EVs available in a more accessible MSRP range, below $50,000, where Tesla does not yet truly compete, the firm said in its report. 340,000 of the roughly 525,000 EVs registered from January to September 2022 were Teslas. 56% of the market was controlled by the Model Y and Model 3. The remaining sales are divided amongst 46 other EVs that are competing for scraps until electrification is more widespread amongst U.S. consumers. Tesla has four of the top five EV models by registration from January to September. The vehicles in the 6th through 10th positions are the Chevrolet Bolt EV and EUV, Hyundai Ioniq 5, Kia EV6, Volkswagen ID4, and Nissan Leaf. Tesla still obviously dominates the field. However, S&P Global Mobility notes, Tesla's position is changing because more affordable options are available and they offer equal or better technology and production build. Because of this, the firm's report notes that Tesla's ability to retain a dominant market share will not be guaranteed in the future. The group of 48 competing models to the Model 3 and Model Y will only grow. The firm forecasts 159 models across all manufacturers in the US EV market by the end of 2025, which is faster than Tesla will be able to add production volume through new manufacturing plants. Tesla does plan to eventually attack the affordable market with the rumored $25,000 model, which CEO Elon Musk confirmed during the Q3 earnings call, was in development. When Tesla will launch the vehicle is unclear, but its competition in the affordable vehicle market will be thick when the car is eventually brought to production. Tesla is one of the few automakers that is a pure EV company. S&P Global Mobility's report estimates this could be the company's biggest advantage, as few EV owners have returned to ICE powertrains. However, Tesla brand loyalty could be tested as more EVs enter the market. The Model Y currently has 60.5% brand loyalty, and nearly 74% of buyers were first-time Tesla owners. These figures both led the industry. Moving to the next update, Tesla's North American Charging Standard proposal gets stern char in response. The Charging Interface Initiative Char-in, has issued a response to Tesla's proposal to have its charging connector design adopted as the North American Charging Standard NACS, for electric vehicles. Charin noted that while Tesla should be lauded for its effort to move electric mobility forward, adopting the NACS would lead to further consumer confusion and delay EV adoption. Charin applauds Tesla for including DIN 7121 and ISO 15118-02 communication standards for the NACS proposal. We also appreciate Tesla's effort to move the e-mobility market forward even faster than it is moving now. However, we encourage stakeholders to investigate ways to focus on market acceleration rather than the creation of yet another form factor alternative, which will lead to further consumer confusion and delay EV adoption. CCS has gone through many years of rigorous standardization processes, which is a required activity for any new standard proposal. After a decade of collaborative work, the domestic and international EV industry has aligned around CCS, Charin wrote. Charin highlighted that nearly 300 domestic and international Charin members are using or investing in CCS. 
The industry association also highlighted that worldwide, CCS far outnumbers Tesla's superchargers, with 61,000 DC fast chargers using a CCS connector, and only 40,000 superchargers using Tesla's NACS standard. In North America, Charin noted that there are 18,880 CCS connectors, compared to 18,405 Tesla supercharger connectors, and 178,926 J1172 connectors, compared to 15,529 Tesla destination chargers. The industry association further noted that Tesla's proposal would have to face hurdles for the NACS to be standardized. Through this, the EV industry could be disrupted, since electric car makers would have to divert their energy and resources to integrate and implement a new charging standard for their cars, according to Charin. Tesla, for its part, noted in its announcement earlier this month that the North American charging standard, NACS, has numerous advantages over CCS. Apart from offering both AC charging and up to 1 MW DC charging, the NACS is half the size and twice as powerful as CCS connectors. Moving to the next update, Tesla wall connector chargers now available on Best Buy. Tesla wall connectors are now available on Best Buy's online shop. The addition hints at Tesla's motivation for its charging connector and charger port to truly become the charging standard in North America. Best Buy's online shop sells Tesla's Generation 3 and its J1772 wall connector. The Gen 3 wall connector costs $400. A 12-month financing plan is available for card members too, making the Gen 3 wall charger $33.34 per month. The J1772 wall charger costs a bit more, at $550. Card members could opt for the 18-month financing plan, allowing them to pay $30.56 monthly for the J1772 charger. Best Buy also offers the J1772 for $45.84 per month, under a 12-month financing plan to card members. Earlier this month, Tesla announced that its charging connector and charge port would be called the North American Charging Standard, or NACS, moving forward. Tesla opened its EV connector design to the world on November 11. The company invited charging network operators and vehicle manufacturers to use the NACS standard, by opening the design of its charging connector and charging port to the world, Tesla has made a move to become the North American standard for EV chargers. Aptera already called for Congress to adopt Tesla's supercharger technology as the standard for all EV charging in the United States. Tesla noted that other network operators are also planning to use NACS in their chargers. Moving to the last update, Tesla posts more Cybertruck production jobs. Tesla Giga Texas is ramping up Cybertruck job hires once again. The latest job openings for the Cybertruck hint that Tesla is inching closer to starting production. Earlier this month, Tesla posted several jobs for Cybertruck production. The job lists included openings for the following positions. The latest jobs Tesla posted appear directly related to Cybertruck production. Tesla's new open positions are listed here. All the Cybertruck jobs that Tesla posted are located in Austin, Texas. Tesla's Giga Austin will be its Cybertruck factory. During the Q3 2022 earnings call, Musk mentioned that Tesla was in the final lap for Cybertruck. At the same meeting, a Tesla executive noted that Tesla already started preparing for Cybertruck production at Gigafactory Texas. In late October, two Cybertruck bodies were spotted inside Giga Texas. A few more Cybertruck prototypes were also spotted at the Fremont factory in October. Tesla expects to enter early Cybertruck production by the middle of 2023 and enter mass production by the end of next year that's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.